A referendum plural, referendums or less commonly referenda, is a direct vote in which an entire electorate is invited to vote on a particular proposal. This may result in the adoption of a new law. In some countries, it is synonymous with a plebiscite or a vote on a ballot question. Some definitions of plebiscite suggest that it is a type of vote to change the constitution or government of a country. However, some other countries define it differently. For example, Australia defines referendum as a vote to change the constitution, and plebiscite as a vote that does not affect the constitution. In Ireland, the vote to adopt its constitution was called a plebiscite, but a subsequent vote to amend the constitution is called a referendum, and so is a poll of the electorate on a non-constitutional bill. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Etymology and plural form. Referendum is the gerundive form of the Latin verb refero, literally, to carry back, from the verb ferro, to bear, bring, carry, plus the inseparable preposition re, here meaning, back, as a gerundive is an adjective, not a noun, it cannot be used alone in Latin and must be contained within a context attached to a noun such as propositum qui referendum est populo, a proposal which must be carried back to the people. The addition of the verb sum third person singular, est, to a gerundive, denotes the idea of necessity or compulsion, that which must be done, rather than that which is fit for doing. Its use as a noun in English is thus not a strictly grammatical usage of a foreign word, but is rather a freshly coined English noun, which therefore follows English grammatical usage, not Latin grammatical usage. This determines the form of the plural in English, which according to English grammar should be referendums. The use of referenda as a plural form in English treating it as a Latin word and attempting to apply to it the rules of Latin grammar is thus insupportable according to the rules of both Latin and English grammar alike. The use of referenda as a plural form is posited hypothetically as either a gerund or a gerundive by the Oxford English Dictionary, which rules out such usage in both cases as follows. Referendums is logically preferable as a plural form meaning ballots on one issue as a Latin gerund, referendum has no plural. The Latin plural gerundive referenda, meaning things to be referred, necessarily connotes a plurality of issues. It is closely related to the political agenda, those matters which must be driven forward, from ago, to drive cattle, and the memorandum, that matter which must be remembered, from memoro, to call to mind. Topic. Earliest use The name and use of the referendum is thought to have originated in the Swiss canton of Graubünden as early as the 16th century. The term plebiscite has a generally similar meaning in modern usage, and comes from the Latin plebiscita, which originally meant a decree of the Concilium Plebis, plebeian council, the popular assembly of the Roman Republic. Today, a referendum can also often be referred to as a plebiscite, but in some countries the two terms are used differently to refer to votes with differing types of legal consequences. For example, Australia defines referendum as a vote to change the constitution, and plebiscite as a vote that does not affect the constitution. In contrast, Ireland has only ever held one plebiscite, which was the vote to adopt its constitution, and every other vote has been called a referendum. Plebiscite has also been used to denote a non-binding vote count such as the one held by Nazi Germany to approve in retrospect the so-called Anschluss with Austria, the question being not, do you permit, but rather, do you approve, of that which has most definitely already occurred. <laughs> Topic. Typology The term referendum covers a variety of different meanings. A referendum can be binding or advisory. In some countries, different names are used for these two types of referendum. Referendums can be further classified by who initiates them, mandatory referendums prescribed by law, voluntary referendums initiated by the legislature or government, and referendums initiated by citizens. A deliberative referendum is a referendum specifically designed to improve the deliberative qualities of the campaign preceding the referendum vote, and or of the act of voting itself. Rationale From a political-philosophical perspective, referendums are an expression of direct democracy. However, in the modern world, most referendums need to be understood within the context of representative democracy. 
Therefore, they tend to be used quite selectively, covering issues such as changes in voting systems, where currently elected officials may not have the legitimacy or inclination to implement such changes. Referendums by country Since the end of the 18th century, hundreds of national referendums have been organized in the world. Almost 600 national votes were held in Switzerland since its inauguration as a modern state in 1848. Italy ranked second with 72 national referendums, 67 popular referendums, three constitutional referendums, one institutional referendum, and one advisory referendum. Topic: Multiple choice referendums. A referendum usually offers the electorate a choice of accepting or rejecting a proposal, but this is not necessarily the case. In Switzerland, for example, multiple choice referendums are common. Among several other instances, two multiple choice referendums held in Sweden, in 1957 and in 1980, offered voters three options. In 1977, a referendum held in Australia to determine a new national anthem was held in which voters had four choices. In 1992, New Zealand held a five option referendum on their electoral system, and in 1982, Guam had one on six options, with an additional blank option for anyone's wishing to campaign and vote for their own seventh option. A multiple-choice referendum poses the question of how the result is to be determined. If no single option receives the support of an absolute majority more than half of voters' resort can be made to the two-round system or the alternative vote AV, which is also called IRV, PV, or STV. In 2018 the Citizens' Assembly considered referendums in Ireland, with 76% supporting allowing more than two options, and 52% favouring STV in such cases. Other people regard a non-majoritarian methodology like the modified board account, MBC as more inclusive and more accurate. Swiss referendums offer a separate vote on each of the multiple options as well as an additional decision about which of the multiple options should be preferred. In the Swedish case, in both referendums the winning option was chosen by the single-member plurality first past the post system. In other words, the winning option was deemed to be that supported by a plurality, rather than an absolute majority, of voters. In the 1977, Australian referendum, the winner was chosen by the system of preferential instant runoff voting, IRV or PV. Polls in Newfoundland 1949 and Guam 1982, for example, were counted under a form of the two-round system, and an unusual form of TRS was used in the 1992 New Zealand poll. Although California does not have deliberate multiple choice referendums in the Swiss or Swedish sense in which only one of several counter propositions can be victorious, and the losing proposals are wholly null and void, it does have so many yes or no referendums at each election day that the state's constitution provides a method for resolving conflicts when two or more inconsistent propositions are passed on the same day. This is a de facto form of approval voting, i.e. the proposition with the most yes. Votes prevails over the others to the extent of any conflict. Another voting system that could be used in multiple choice referendum is the Condorcet rule. Topic: Criticisms. Topic: Criticism of populist aspect. Critics of the referendum argue that voters in a referendum are more likely to be driven by transient whims than by careful deliberation, or that they are not sufficiently informed to make decisions on complicated or technical issues. Also, voters might be swayed by propaganda, strong personalities, intimidation, and expensive advertising campaigns. James Madison argued that direct democracy is the tyranny of the majority. Some opposition to the referendum has arisen from its use by dictators such as Adolf Hitler and Benito Mussolini who, it is argued, used the plebiscite to disguise oppressive policies as populism. Dictators may also make use of referendums as well as show elections to further legitimize their authority such as Benito Mussolini in 1934, Adolf Hitler in 1936, Ferdinand Marcos in 1973, Park Chung-hee in 1972, and Francisco Franco in 1947. Hitler's use of plebiscites is argued as the reason why, since World War II, there has been no provision in Germany for the holding of referendums at the federal level. 
In recent years, referendums have been used strategically by several European governments trying to pursue political and electoral goals. Topic. Patton's criticism British politician Chris Patton summarised many of the arguments used by those who oppose the referendum in an interview in 2003, when discussing the possibility of a referendum in the United Kingdom on the European Union Constitution. I think referendums are awful. The late and great Julian Critchley used to say that, not very surprisingly, they were the favourite form of plebiscitary democracy of Mussolini and Hitler. They undermine Westminster. What they ensure, as we saw in the last election, is that if you have a referendum on an issue, politicians during an election campaign say, Oh, we're not going to talk about that, we don't need to talk about that, that's all for the referendum. So during the last election campaign, the euro was hardly debated. I think referendums are fundamentally anti-democratic in our system, and I wouldn't have anything to do with them. On the whole, governments only concede them when governments are weak. Topic. Closed questions and the separability problem Some critics of the referendum attack the use of closed questions. A difficulty which can plague a referendum of two issues or more is called the separability problem. If one issue is in fact, or in perception, related to another on the ballot, the imposed simultaneous voting of first preference on each issue can result in an outcome that is displeasing to most. Topic. Undue limitations on regular government power Several commentators have noted that the use of citizens' initiatives to amend constitutions has so tied the government to a mishmash of popular demands as to render the government unworkable. The Economist has made this point about the U.S. state of California, which has passed so many referendums restricting the ability of the state government to tax the people and pass the budget that the state has become effectively ungovernable. Calls for an entirely new Californian constitution have been made. A similar problem, however, arises when elected governments accumulate excessive debts. That can severely reduce the effective margin for later governments. Both these problems can be moderated by a combination of other measures as strict rules for correct accounting on budget plans and effective public expenditure. Mandatory assessment by an independent public institution of all budgetary implications of all legislative proposals, before they can be approved. Mandatory prior assessment of the constitutional coherence of any proposal. Interdiction of extra budget expenditure taxpayers anyway have to fund them, sooner or later. Topic. Sources The Federal Authorities of the Swiss Confederation, Statistics German, https colon slash slash web dot archive dot org slash web slash two oh oh eight one two one oh oh seven one seven oh eight slash http colon slash slash w dot bfs dot admin dot ch slash bfs slash portal slash de slash index slash theme and slash seventeen slash oh three slash blank slash key slash stimbatiligging dot html Turcoane, Ovidiu 2015. A Proposed Contextual Evaluation of Referendum Quorum Using Fuzzy Logics. PDF. Journal of Applied Quantitative Methods, 10 83–93. See also Referendums by country Popular referendum Initiative Direct democracy Mandatory referendum Optional referendum Right to petition United Nations in Kashmir Independence referendum War referendum Political science List of politics-related topics History of direct democracy in the United States Referendums related to the European Union topic. Specific referendums SAR Status Referendum, 1935 Gibraltar Sovereignty Referendum, 1967 Arizona Proposition 204, 2006 Australian Referendum, 1967 Good Friday Agreement, 1998 Bolivian Gas Referendum, 2004 
Brazilian Firearms and Ammunition Referendum, 2005 Corinthian Plebiscite 1920. Cypriot Annan Plan Referendum, 2004 Dutch-Ukraine European Union Association Agreement Referendum, 2016 Dutch Intelligence and Security Services Act Referendum, 2018 Edinburgh Congestion Charge 2005 Iranian Referendum, 1963 Iranian Islamic Republic Referendum, 1979 Iranian Constitutional Referendum 1979, 1989 Kenyan Constitutional Referendum, 2005 Montenegrin Independence Referendum, 1992 Montenegrin Independence Referendum, 2006 Norwegian Prohibition Referendum, 1919 Norwegian Continued Prohibition Referendum, 1926 Norwegian European Communities Membership Referendum, 1972 Norwegian European Union Membership Referendum, 1994 Panama Canal Expansion Referendum, 2006 Puerto Rico Status Referendums 1967, 1993, 1998, 2012, 2017 Republic of China Referendums Serbian Constitutional Referendum, 2006 South African Referendum, 1992 Tokelauan Self-Determination Referendum, 2006 Venezuelan Recall Referendum, 2004 Referendums in Canada Alberta Liquor Plebiscite, 1957 British Columbia Aboriginal Treaty Referendum, 2002 British Columbia Electoral Reform Referendum, 2005 British Columbia Electoral Reform Referendum, 2009 Charlottetown Accord List of Northwest Territories plebiscites Newfoundland Referendums, 1948 Northwest Territories Division Plebiscite, 1982 Nunavut Capital Plebiscite, 1995 Ontario Electoral Reform Referendum, 2007 Ontario Prohibition Plebiscite, 1894 Ontario Prohibition Referendum, 1902 Ontario Prohibition Referendum, 1919 Ontario Prohibition Referendum, 1921 Ontario Prohibition Referendum, 1924 Prince Edward Island Electoral Reform Referendum, 2005 Quebec Referendum, 1980 Quebec Referendum, 1995 St. John, New Brunswick Ward Plebiscite, 2007 Referendums in the United Kingdom United Kingdom European Communities Membership Referendum, 1975 United Kingdom European Union Membership Referendum, 2016 United Kingdom Alternative Vote Referendum, 2011 Northern England Devolution Referendums, 2004 Northern Ireland Belfast Agreement Referendum, 1998 Northern Ireland Sovereignty Referendum, 1973 Scottish Devolution Referendum, 1979 Scottish Devolution Referendum, 1997 Scottish Independence Referendum, 2014 Welsh Devolution Referendum, 1979 Welsh Devolution Referendum, 1997 Welsh Devolution Referendum, 2011 Edinburgh Congestion Charge Greater London Authority Referendum, 1998 Referendums related to European Union Accession, Croatian European Union Membership Referendum, 2012 Danish European Communities Membership Referendum, 1972 Norwegian European Communities Membership Referendum, 1972 Norwegian European Union Membership Referendum, 1990 Four Polish European Union Membership Referendum, 2003 Topic References Topic Further reading Morel, L. 2011, Referenda. In, B. Beatty, D. Berg Schlosser, and L. Morlino eds, International Encyclopedia of Political Science, Thousand Oaks, Sage, 2226-2230. Quartrip, Matt 2017. Demystifying Direct Democracy. Journal of Democracy, 28 141-152. Doi 10.1353 JOD.2017.0052. Quartrip, Matt, Brendan O'Leary and Ronald Wintrobe, 2018. Explaining the Paradox of Plebiscites. Government and Opposition. Satala, M. 1999. 
Referendums and Democratic Government. London and New York, Palgrave Macmillan. Topolov, Lyubomir Elite Strategy or Populist Weapon? Journal of Democracy, 28 127–140. doi, 10.1353, jod.2017.0051.